Hello everybody, I am Bogwan and welcome back to more Victoria 2. Ah, uh, we have we have dealt a grievous wound to the might of the United Kingdom. We have freed Ireland from their tyrannical grip. India is also free, though fragmented still. Plenty of little nations still kind of being influenced by the United Kingdom. Uh, but that's fine. Ultimately, the world is very different. Austria-Hungary has devoured parts of uh, Germany. We control parts of uh, England now. Still got Spain, Spanish holdings. Africa is, is hugely dominated by the French. I'm also super infamous. Everybody kind of hates me. Yeah, they will not accept an alliance with me because my infamy is so huge. However, if you take a look at the scores, I'm sitting at a 3,400 uh, uh, score right now. 1,400 of which is just my army. Um, the next highest military. Yeah, there's... Or who's, who's, yeah, who's got the next highest? The Chinese Empire. 600, 975, yeah. Nobody. I am the greatest nation on earth. Oh, yeah. Some secret armor, some Karachi airplanes. Yeah, I should probably build another army. Shouldn't I? La la. Oh, it's a crap ton of tanks, isn't it? Um, who needs more tanks? Here we are. Uh, here you can have six thousand more tanks. Uh, Four thousand. A few tanks can go over here. Five thousand of you can go there. Mm -hmm. uh, all of you guys can go over here. Military, build an army. An African force. Eight thousand of them. There we are. That should do. Mm. Uh, let's build another army. Um, this time, let's build a... Asian army? No, a European army. Yes. Two of them. Europe, Europe, Europe. Europe, Europe. Six of them. Oh, uh, yes, there. Three thousand of them should do. I guess I need one, inf one engineer. Here we are. Yes. Luxury fact. All oh, these factories, right? How are things going? Mm -hmm. well, the economy's looking strong. Gondor Tigre apparently needs some uh, some more investments. Got some unemployed people there. Uh, French South Cameroon. 
French South Cameroon. Hello, there we are. Those guys will get to go right into working there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a glorious, glorious thing I've got. Mm -hmm. Look at my little tanks. No, they're adorable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh, a little six forts. Um, yeah, that's fine. There we are. More forts. More railroads. Did I build all my forts? I think I built all my forts. Yeah, no, some is still getting upgraded. That's fine. Belgium That's here Romania Increase their opinion of us uh, Where else? Uh, Confederation of South or North Borneo I don't know why, but you know, just meddling. Meddling wherever I can. Mm -hmm. The Chinese Empire would also be an interesting nation to play. Because they also become a major powerhouse once you get their once you can get them properly get get their ball rolling. A lot of these nations are, are a quick way you can invade to try to expand and make yourself a, a, a nation, um, civilize your nation. And the faster you civilize, the quicker you become a, a major power in the world. What kind of rebels do we got going on now? Carless rebels. Spain. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, you guys are covered quick enough. Which I, I commend. Though I do chuckle at your failures. <laughs> if I get another war in, I will make Scotland free. Yes, oh, that's what I should have done. I should have ignored India and made Scotland free. Yes. Ah, oh, well. You know what? Things are peaceful. I think we can speed things up a touch. Mm. Even as my nations continue to grow. Ah, I might as well unite you guys into a single glorious army. So it's all dreadnoughts. Hopefully there are only battleships. Leftover cruisers... Perfect. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty happy with my fleet. And yeah, there we go. Germany has dropped off the Great Powers map. To be replaced by China. <laughs> and the United States is like, you know what? I'm never going to get involved in Europe. Seems like a terrible decision. Luckily, we're good friends with uh, the United States, I think. Um, I think we're good friends with them. Minus nine. They're not fans. They're not fans of us, actually. Eh. I'm not too concerned. Ah, Brazil. Hmm. Got your max railroads? Yeah, you do. Good for you, buddy. 
Good for you. You're doing fine. Oh, hello. French South Cameroon. Finally had it happen. Where well, they became a proper state. And a proper array of bureaucrats. Ah, lots of French starting to form in Hejaz and Mecca. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. A place I can expand my, my fortifications. Oh, we got naval exercises. Ah, quick component. Oh, grievous insults. Uh, yeah. Ships would engage in mock battles, other just training missions, such as they would act in wartime. Less navy attrition. I don't think my boats have ever had navy attrition. Uh, they've had very short range missions. Yeah, that is unconstitutional. Bad rich people, bad. Ooh, hello. Guess not all of my boats, or not all my ports, were max level. You slipped through the cracks. Ah, well, it happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. La la la. There we are. Uh, very, it's a very interesting party. Socialist and liberal. And then conservatives. Oh. Medium artillery. For the mold of traditional artillery, combined with the extreme of the Great War and the rapid increase in motorization, the artillery gun was developed. Models carried these guns with the standard for regular infantry units, parting them with greater firepower capability and mobility than they had previously lacked. Alright, well, we're attacking artillery support. Hmm. <laughs> All these nations, civilized, being devoured by anarcho rebel. Well, you know what? Oh, hello. All right. Burma. Say, I could move my soldiers through here and help clear out India. But I suppose not. Mm. Into our cavalry. The mass casualties suffered in the Great War. Oh, so many casualties. That are in the motorization. Traditional horse cavalry was on its way out. Because of motorization, changed the way cavalry was used. And so on the battlefield. No longer horse mounted soldiers would be mounted on said motorized vehicles. Motorization would allow for more firepower from heavier guns and speed up deployment times. Uh, so, yeah, all my cavalry would be getting bonuses, but I'm mostly replacing them. So, there's that. Attend the 9th Olympics? I think so. <laughs> mm. yeah, we have a solid population too now. 62 million. Yeah, let's take a look at the world. Uh, so we're at 62. The U.S. is at 33, U.K. is down to 25, Russia's at 28, Japan's got 12 million, and I knew. All right. Uh, yeah, sure, Germany. I'm not sure what you're up to, but oh, the German-Dutch War, the Netherlands. Interesting. Curious. It's hilarious. 14 million, 6 million, 100 million out of China. And when they can, you know, they can get such a huge industries through that. And the rest are pretty small. Oh, Brazil's at 8. Swiss less than a million, 7 million. 2.5 million out of there. 6 million in Germany. 10 times their population based. 
Yeah, Germany is never going to recover now. They just can't. King High, okay. Interesting. Da da da. Uh, our last athletes are victorious. <gasps> Wonderful. They'll make you feel proud to be French. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Scandinavia. Sweden, just kind of hanging out, doing their thing. Being part of Italy. Another of my oh Eugene Garand Montenegro Yeah, I'm not sure now what who I want to invade. I mean I could. There'd be little little stopping me from starting another war or eight at this point. I could invade Italy if I wanted. That'd be a pushover. Well, ah, let's be honest. Every nation is a pushover now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think Barcelona, easy enough. Yeah. Persia's done well for himself. And yeah. Hmm. All the world's nations are civilized, finally. Which makes it hard for me to conquer them. Without a great war happening. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Ah, the Niger Delta. Bunk. There we are. And with that, another place for factories to be built. Oh, yes. Let's take a look, look at this place. Oh, perfectly. They're super educated. Ooh, rubber. Yeah, perfect. So we should get some more factories out of there. French South Cameroon, eh? Still needs more support, does it? Right, well, I'll help fund things there. France, the Niger Delta. All oh, right, well, they're they're just gonna be in the middle of their their first factory now. Yeah. No wonder. No capitalists there down there, down there yet, but that, that's fine. They'll come in time. Oh, complete employment. What more could you want? Some some of their choices in close that one down. I don't know why he built that one. It seems silly. I am a very conscientious nation though. Because of my massive infamy. Just massive infamy. Hmm. That's fine. Ambassador insulted. Gain a humiliate cause a spell on the United Kingdom. Well, uh, no, I will. We'll end negotiations. Though I mean, really, they should be a little more careful given how our last battle went. They really should be. Unless they want to give up, oh, I don't know. Southwest England? Maybe Wales? See Scotland become free? Oh, Denmark. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. Communists. Mm hmm. Uh, Alright, 
let's see, Netherlands, Romania. Romania. Oops. Romania, you're part of my sphere again. How do you like that? Belgium, not in my sphere anymore. Let's ban Italy then. Take that, Italy. If you're going to be a jerk about things. Grand Colombia, back into my sphere. North Borneo, in my sphere. Mm. Um, nom, 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 nom. French communists! All right, well, um, I guess I have to kill them now. I'll put you on patrol. You're on patrol. You're on patrol. Merge. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the cannons here. Since they are unnecessary. And let's get rid of your cannons. This again, unnecessary. So that's all them being defended against. Should be fine. And that should deal with them. Oh, look at those. Five star. Oh yeah, do I have any more communists popping up overseas at all? No, no, no. Oh, oh. That'll deal with that. Yeah. Perfect. All right, well, I'm going to take my break here, and uh, let's see what happens next time. Hopefully we can get one more crisis in, and I can just thrash somebody. So horribly. See you all soon.